this tutorial is based on a written tutorial that I have on my website so I'll post the link below and I hope you guys go check it out and try it hey everyone so today we'll be working on a tutorial and this tutorial is, is gonna be on how to draw leopard spots okay I'm gonna first start off by first showing you the tools that I'm gonna be using and this tutorial is based on uh, on a technique that I've been developing for the last for a few years now so if this is your first time here I'm gonna post a link below to a tutorial that explains it much better and so I suggest that you read that first and then come back and try this out okay first pencil is gonna be a 6B pencil right here you could use a, either use one of these or like a, just a regular wood wood cased pencil. So that's a six B, and this is a five H, two H, this is a they call these this is a, a, a graphite stick. It's called Lyra water soluble graphite stick it's a 6B the reason I like using this is because it's kind of waxy so when you put it down on paper it goes down so goes down nicely and it's very very dark and this this is a I think they're called chamois towels they're used for uh, washing cars and but th these are great for uh, for absorbing For blending pencil or you could just use a like a regular q-tip or tissue or anything like that and then the kneaded eraser and these are the, the tools for the hair so basically this is a mechanical pencil with a needle at the end and you can make this just all you need to do is get the right gauged needle one that fits at the end and you got to grind down the tip a bit so it doesn't rip through the paper and then for a thicker stylus I use this this is just a pen with no with no ink but please 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 make sure there's absolutely no ink left in the in the pen before you actually start using it because the last thing you want is to get some ink on the on your drawing and, and then I use this I use this just to put the rest of my arm my hand so I don't smudge anything okay then that's about oh and the paper this is a Bristol Bristol vellum and I, re I recommend using a thicker paper for this tutorial because we'll be indenting Basically, we'll be pressing against the paper, and if the paper's too thin, and if the paper's too thin, it'll rip through. So I recommend using a thicker paper. 